Whether it's all of our scanned or digital camera photos, or our huge collection of movies we seem to be downloading, it seems like we're all running out of hard disk space. Hey, it's Curtis from Scan Your Entire Life. And if you use iPhoto for Mac, I'd like to show you how to fix this problem. By default, iPhoto likes to store all of your photos in a single file called the iPhoto library. This is actually a good thing for most people. It makes it easier, more of a hands-off approach to managing all your photos. So what we're going to be doing to free up hard disk space is actually moving this iPhoto library file to a separate hard drive. It's very important that you have a backup copy of your iPhoto library file before you do what I'm about to show you. Your photos are irreplaceable, so please make a backup. So the first thing we need to do is make sure we close out iPhoto. So I'm going to close out that window, Command Q, or you can go up to the iPhoto menu option and hit Quit iPhoto. Next, we need to find our iPhoto library. And for most people, you'll find that on your hard drive and in your user home folder. And then I'll click right here on my pictures folder. And you'll see right here at the bottom is my iPhoto library. It looks like a single file, but actually it's a folder. And if you look over here, you'll see that my iPhoto library is 1.33 gigabytes, which is actually really small. You might find that your iPhoto library is 20, 30, 40, 60 gigabytes, and that's why your hard drive is so full. So even though my iPhoto library is really small, and you can see I have 205 gigabytes free on my hard drive, we're going to pretend like my hard drive is actually empty, and we're going to move this iPhoto library to an external hard drive. Especially for laptop users, I wouldn't really recommend having your iPhoto library on an external hard drive for a very long time. It's a good temporary solution, but your best decision really is to replace your small hard drive with a larger one, and then use an external hard drive as a backup. Because what this means is anytime you load up iPhoto, you're going to have to make sure that your external hard drive is plugged in. But for certain circumstances, this might be the best solution for you right now. And it's simply a matter of going over to your iPhoto library, left-clicking, and dragging the iPhoto library over to your external hard drive. Because my test library is so small, it's only going to take a couple minutes for it to finish copying. But don't be surprised if yours takes 20 minutes, 30, 40, even an hour to copy depending on how large it is. It's important to note right now that we have two copies of our iPhoto library. One is right here in the pictures folder, and another is in our external hard drive. If I move this down, you can see both copies. Here, and right here. This is important because we don't want to delete the original version before we've tested out the new version to make sure everything is working correctly. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up to my pictures folder here. I'm going to single click here where it says iPhoto library so that it's highlighted with all blue. I'm going to right cursor over and add the word old to the end of the file name. And I'll show you in a second why that's important. So what we want to do now is we want to boot into iPhoto but we want to tell it to load from the new iPhoto library and not from the one that we just labeled old. And the way you do that is you hold down the option key, keep it held down, and then move down to your dock and click on iPhoto. And now a window will pop up and say, what photo library do you want iPhoto to use? And because we labeled the old iPhoto library old, it's a lot easier now to find the new one by clicking on the one that's obviously not labeled old. And for users with the latest iPhoto, you'll be able to see a path description here in the bottom that will help validate that we have selected the correct external hard drive. So now we click on Choose, and now iPhoto will launch using the newest iPhoto library. And now we can quit out of iPhoto. I'm going to hit Command Q. So now it's safe to delete the old iPhoto library. So I'm going to right click on it, and then select Move to Trash. Now if you're paranoid like me, maybe not Jack Nicholson in as good as it gets kind of paranoid, but just a good healthy case of paranoia, you'll load up iPhoto one more time just to make sure everything's there and, and loads fine. I mean, I'm just saying, this is your entire photo collection here. Everything seems good. Let's empty that trash. So I hope you found this to be useful. Enjoy scanning the rest of your life. Cheers!